What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 8 and 9. It should be really awesome. If you like Jujutsu Kaisen, hit the like button. Maybe consider even subscribing. Hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date when I upload. Always uploading. Let's jump straight into it. Let's go. Okay, we're back. So remember last time there was this sort of veil domain that was set, which only trapped non-sorcerer users. And Gojo, he was the one who was able to pass through well not able to but he at the end of the last episode we saw that he actually entered to check what was going on oh my gosh they're just walking on top of the people this is gonna be interesting because i'm i'm literally confused still from last week wow look how he's just floating there are they not after gojo though they're making Gojo do this alone. Oh, yes, because everybody's been put on standby. Wait, that's Mai, right? So who's this one? I don't think I've seen this guy before. Nisama. I can't, like, t did you see that? It was the subtitles weren't good on the episode. Like, that's why you should always have the black outline. But it is Mei Mei. But that's obviously maybe her cousin or nephew or something. Oh, there was another veil over th the station. Okay. Itadori. Wow, it's so good to see him again. It's one of my favorite characters in recent memory. Yep, those are the guys with Ghetto. I have no clue what their names were, but I know that a special grade, Shibui Incident. There's a veil to keep ordinary people trapped inside. Oh, wow. So there's a, on a different level, there's one that stops sorcerers from entering. Wow. This is like completely planned out specifically for whatever they're planning on doing. They are transfigured humans between the barriers. Transfigured. So does that mean they've like imbued human beings with cursed energy and transformed them into abominations? Which is, I mean, I can obviously imagine it's a, that's a massive crime. But that's what I'm saying. Well, not what I was saying, but she's got the same hair like Nozal Silver from Black Clover. Oh, someone spotted her. Wow, Itadori will obviously want the powerful one. Exactly. I want to see Sukuna. I haven't seen him in some time. And I wonder, because remember, Itadori was able to sort of control him in a sense. But even though Sukuna is like a terrible person, like he's still very strong at the end of the day, you know? Oh, so that's what's happening between b1 and b2 wow okay this is what comes from having experience on the field you know because we saw her years ago patch face it's a dory looked like he got upset when they uh, mentioned transfigured humans like he was like what like i said i've watched the show i've never really heard of transfigured humans or maybe i've just forgotten i won't lose anymore oh he's seeing something it almost looks like Sal from DBZ. Oh my gosh. Wow. What are you looking at? Whoa, he's Itadori is upset. Oh my gosh, the guy's head is eaten clean off. Oh. Oh, they're talking about um, Mahito. Oh, that's, um, that was from, what's his name? Ah, I forgot it now. Mekamaru. Do you remember Ghetto took it and he sealed it? Oh, man. There's something different about Itadori. Like, he's clearly had, like, a lot of growth since the last time we saw him. You don't know what curse I am, do you? Grasshopper curse. <laughs> locust plague. So this thing is was made from locust plague. Because remember, everything will release cursed energy at some point. 
black fluid secreted by locusts oh so this thing is created from that and it's fast as well but this is nothing for yuji oh for flight man this guy had his head chowed off and now his body's just lying there the whole time Right, for a second I was like, what just happened? The screen went like a little bit dark. But I think it's because they hit the light out, which is interesting. Yeah, just brute strength. <laughs> He's like a kid, if you think about it. Oh, let's go. Oh, the test of strength. Oh, let's go. <laughs> holy let's go it's a dory i mean you need to understand how powerful any type of thing that's like a locust or even a praying mantis if that was like bigger than a human being do you know how hot like its skin would literally be bulletproof so like and this thing is also like obviously some type of special grade curse and it's a dory is going off let's go oh look oh my gosh look at him dude that looks like the thumbnail that might be the thumbnail let's go kick his head clean off dude his wings got fried oh oh he dodged it man it's the dory is different locusts lay the eggs on the ground oh my goodness so it's like sal i bet she's gonna have little minions Matt could be wrong oh he chopped it oh my gosh this narration makes it so much more intense oh my hito has been watching the whole time Kogo Kogai. guy my hito is a monster after what i saw against mekamaru i really didn't know he was that strong <laughs> <laughs> not yuji yuji's not struggling you're practically a first grade already let's go kusakabe interesting <laughs> don't fall for it she's completely petrified i would run Where's Wally? <laughs> what? But it is the Halloween party. Oh, that's what they're doing. So now he can't use his power because otherwise he's going to kill all these people. Wow. It's obviously Ghetto is the only one who understands these things. Oh, so that's why the others were told to stay back while he does his work. See, it's, it's literally a chess match because the limitless technique is so crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow, monsters. Blood manipulation. Slicing exorcism. Incredible. Wow. They might even land a shot on him, to be honest. Oh, oh but you can't underestimate Gojo, though. That's the thing. Wow, I wonder what he's gonna do. Wait, what? Domain amplification. Oh my goodness, they're getting through. What? He's obviously improved since Ghetto's last, like, understood his abilities. The new Shadow School. Infinite Void. <laughs> it's it's actually a chess match this is literally a chess match it's like who's gonna play what move oh he's gonna oh there's the eyes i wonder why he wears the blindfold because he never wore it before 
the prison realm so it's uh they're just stalling him for 20 minutes we're jumping straight into episode 9 obviously so now they're talking about he's my benefactor do you know when you see stuff like this right they're doing this whole throwback where it's like oh what do you think of gojo this normally means mystic mike could be wrong but this normally means that something's gonna happen to gojo oh my goodness he looks completely exhausted what happened the shibui incident gate open wow so they're actually gonna show us what happened thank goodness hey there we this is the third time we've met oh yes remember i'll kill you first he was the one from jujitsu high any person would shit their pants if they had to face gojo Oh, he's gonna snap the arm. Guy's smiling. Oh! Oh, he ripped his hand, his arm right off. Forearm. This whole station is completely ruined. Oh my goodness, he has that same look that he had when he beat uh, Fushiguro. Remember when I said he looks like a maniac? This is where you're weak. Oh, this is what I was saying. People just assume that he only relies on his technique, but it's like he's the one, he's the strongest in the world. He's not just gonna rely on that. Oh my gosh, let's go. Wow, incredible force. Look over here. He's completely ignoring him, so it, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, we killed him. Hanami. Hanami, that was his name. But you see, he's like, look here, I'll kill these people. But it's like, that doesn't work if you're just being completely ignored. Next. Oh my gosh. The prison realm is a living barrier. One minute is what they need. Four meters for one whole minute. Wow. Way hot um way harder than I don't know what the saying is. Easier said than done. So obviously he's he was willing to sacrifice these guys, Hanami or Jogo, because they would if if you use the right strategy, you'll be able to keep him there for one minute. Even if there's losses. Ah see. His people, oh my goodness. Oh right, you can't come close to him. Bro, I keep saying it, Gojo is an actual god, bro. <laughs> Choso, that's the blood manipulator. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's right there as well. But you know what's my, this was my theory, which was they can't kill Ghetto because he has too many cursed spirits in him. If he dies, that gets released into the world. That's my theory. So this is why Gojo always... Oh! But this is why Gojo can't kill him. That's my theory. Everyone got on the train. Oh my goodness, so the train is on its way to Gojo. Oh, now it's gonna be a whole lot of monsters that come out. This guy's gonna get murdered. Don't open that door, brother. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is one crazy Halloween, that's for sure. Mahito. Wow, he's a madman. This is serious. And now it, it makes sense why Gojo was so crazy. Bro, he's surfing a cursed spirit. But he's good, dude. Maito is good. Wow, there are too many of them. Oh my goodness. Soul multiplicity. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
This oh he keeps ripping the guy's arm off. This is what's gonna send Gojo over the edge. They want him to use it, man. Domain expansion. Oh my word, he's using it. Oh my word, he's lost it. A tenth of a second. So he's moving at light speed right now. Oh my gosh. Gojo's a monster, bro. But that's why he was out of breath when he finished it. They were able to return two months later. Oh my gosh, what is this? I love this narration. It just adds so much more to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, so now we see when he was tired like that. Bro, two tenths of... He did all of that in no time. The strongest sorcerer of the modern age. 1,299 seconds. What a gory scene i mean the psychological effect it would have on these people is just like but now he's open though oh my okay this is the the prison prison realm oh my gosh ghetto's a step ahead of him oh my word they're gonna cat they're gonna catch him whoa yeah. he's stepping back ghetto Wow. What, so it's been a year since the the incident? Oh, did he think he killed him? Wow. Only a minute in his mind. Oh, they got him. Checkmate. Wait, are you telling me that's not him this whole time? My soul is rejecting all that. Bro, I started tearing up there. Oh, so it's not even him. <gasps> what? Some fake. Oh, he didn't get rid of the body when he killed him. So it's Mahito. Yuto. Where is he, man? Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, I couldn't help but like tear up a little bit there when, you know, he just saw the memory of Ghetto. So yeah, he did kill Ghetto. Uh, it was um at the end of the movie. Was it the end of the movie? Yes. After he fought Yuta, then he did kill him. Remember, he was like, uh, Ghetto was like badly injured and he was sitting there. And then you kind of, you heard, it was like off screen. You heard him get killed, but they never actually showed it. And that's that's why I was even confused to the fact that how is he still alive the whole time? But now you see it's, it was just they took his body and he put the brain in there. But I'm, the only thing I'm confused about is that Mojito that's doing that because obviously you can see the patchwork. Or is there something else that's controlling it? Just amazing how they were able to structure their plan. I was thinking the whole time that it's Ghetto, right? He knows the technique. He knows the limitless technique and all these things. So this is why they could do it, right? And basically how they can, how they did it is if I can if I can run it through my head right now is basically that you know they had different types of veils for different people so they had it they had a veil where the cursed users couldn't come in and that's where the person doing the technique was then they had the place where non sorcerer users couldn't escape so they kind of forced them down to the bottom and then they were actually turning them into those transfigured monsters cursed energy but all they were trying to do is get it to a place where ghetto couldn't use his technique because too many casualties would have taken place but then the whole thing was actually just f for them to get him into this prison realm but it needs it takes one minute right but then you found out it's one minute in his mind which and that's why it was the 299 
48 seconds was enough so wow this was very intense and now he's sealed away i mean here's the question right is yuta finally coming back because the whole movie was based on him and he was traveling around wherever is he coming back now but it also is the whole thing of the passing of the god right because ghetto is the strongest of everyone but now they've sealed him away like in most shows that you see when people are too strong you seal them that's the only way to beat them is to seal them so that's what they've done to gojo now which is very interesting where you've actually seen the good guy get sealed away so it's going to be interesting to see what happens but also now we get to see itadori really shine you get to see megumi and everybody else really step up now because you, you can't rely on him so what's going to happen wow just incredible like i said I, I got a bit emotional there just watching that scene having all those flashbacks and the memories very intense oh, i love the show so much i can't wait to continue watching it Whew. but anyways that's gonna be it for me if you're watching thanks for watching uh if you like this episode hit the like button consider subscribing hit the notification bell obviously so that you stay up to date i'm releasing videos every single day that's gonna be it for me i'm gonna leave the other video up over here but i'm out peace in a bit